Well, today is the day. This took a lot more work than expected to set up. But, got the barrel of strays, we can get it. We can all the pieces moving as uh, freely as we can get them. The drill bit shanks have been coated with beeswax to help kind of lube them in their carriers here. And I wanted to start with a quarter inch or six mil drill bit, but uh, on the test barrels, I kept having the long shaft get caught inside the barrel because it was a quarter inch bit, six mil bit, and a six mil shaft, quarter shaft. And I couldn't find any 3 sixteenths to uh, make a shank out of. Although I feel that would have been uh, too weak. I think quarter is the smallest I would want to go. So our initial boring is going to be 5 sixteenths or 8 millimeter. And we're going to jump that up to 3 eighths or 10 millimeter. And then jump that up to 7 sixteenths or 11 millimeter. And then I have some... 7 16 11 millimeter reamers finish reamers that will be put through this barrel and unfortunately they haven't come in yet but i ordered some uh, shotgun barrel hones that we're going to use to polish this bore in preparation for lead lapping from the test barrels i tried to just pour a lead lap and uh, work out the gouges that way but the lead was a uh, pouring into those gouges, locking the lap in place, so it was impossible to lead lap. So we're going to use that uh, the reamer and then the barrel hone to uh, bright polish up this bore. We're going to be using automatic transmission fluid or ATF for our cutting fluid today. Uh, I've always used it and it works great. And as you see, I got a lot of it. Okay, I apologize, the only source of power I have is that generator, so it's going to be a bit noisy. Move that up, start the drill, and go! about a half inch at a time or a 13 millimeter and we have a 21 inch or about 525 millimeter barrel it's going to take a while uh, come back with you periodically okay i am at the uh, bit to shank transition here and this is either going to go smooth or give me one hell of a problem we'll find out uh, once you get to this portion, the flutes can no longer eject the chips, so I'm going to have to take an eighth to a quarter inch cut from here on out. That's uh, three to six millimeters. Buddy Dan, Prince Father Show. Hello. He's going to be helping me with the drilling. Uh, we're to the point now where I need to move the blocks back. We're going to move them back about six inches. And we're about oh, a third of the way, a quarter to a third of the way into this barrel. Now, how 
I'm gauging my depth, if I pick a chip that flew off onto the, the face here, I'm cutting to it. Once you feel that uh, bit start to grunt, stop cutting, pull it out, clear your chip. Okay, we're halfway through the barrel now. Uh, this is going to be a lot of re uh, repetitive stuff, so I'll bring you back when we get to the next drill bit size. This is another critical part. So, bad news. The Muscatoon barrel is now a pistol barrel. Uh, the the 516s hole that I originally drilled straight through the center of the tube, and I went up to a 316. That's a sixteenth of an inch or 1.5 millimeter bigger, and I think that's where I messed up. Uh, was that allowed it to just ride the bottom of the hole and chew its way up? and uh create its own new path i should have just went from 5 16 to 7 16 so i had more material to bite and force it to stay in the center or stay centered so uh the musket just a heads up the muscatoon build is now a pistol build the barrel is bored i still need to ream it and after that we'll get back to making a breech plug for it, filing the flats, all that good stuff.